One of the things that makes sailing videos so fun is all the great scenery you can usually find in them. From sunsets to beautiful marinas to boats under full sail and even rainstorms can help to transport us in our minds to someplace else where we'd rather be. But nothing can really convey what it's like to be out there than the drone shot. Whether it's a boat crossing a wide expanse of open water or an aerial shot of a snug little anchorage somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, you just can't go wrong with that perspective. But the drone shot does have one serious drawback. After getting it up in the air and getting the perfect shot, you have to land the drone again. Landing a drone on a boat can be a difficult thing, even on the best of days. There's always something to get in the way. Rigging, masts, sails, flags, people, and the boat's always moving, never stationary. On my boat, I don't have a lot of open surface area on which to land. So I've tried a couple of times to land on the bimini, the awning that covers the back of the boat, also known as the cockpit. But even this theoretically good spot, out of the way of people and flat and relatively unobstructed, proved to not be that great after just a few tries. Just a gust of wind or a wave or even the wake of another boat was enough to push the boat into the drone and risk losing it overboard. It was absolutely clear I had to come up with another way. And so was born the drone retrieval system, or more aptly, a wooden stick on the bottom of the drone. The concept was simple. Find a way to attach a wooden dowel about two to two and a half feet long to the base of the drone, not affecting the center of gravity, and thereby be able to catch the drone as it flew near and not have to land it on deck at all. After a little experimenting and some fiddling, it came together in two plates, a wooden dowel with a reinforced base, four nuts, and four bolts. The plates were cut with holes that allowed me to see the lights on the drone, access the power button, and also not obstruct the sensors. Every drone is different, and mine is a Mavic Pro, so these plates and the holes in them are cut specifically to fit that drone. While this initial prototype wasn't pretty, it did accomplish the objectives of being lightweight and not affecting the center of gravity. It was also incredibly easy to attach to the drone with just four bolts. With the base plate loosely attached, I was able to ensure that none of the sensors were obstructed before tightening everything down with the four nuts that hold it all together. And just like that, the drone retrieval system, affectionately nicknamed the Drone Pop, was ready for its first test flight. So, um, what we're doing here is the first test of the drone retrieval system that we built so that we can actually get the drone back after filming while we're sailing because you can't land it. I mean, I've done it when I was at anchor a couple of times, but it's really hard and there's always a chance of a wave or a little bit of wind pushing the drone into canvas or into the sails or something like that or going overboard. So this is my little, I'm not going to say I invented it. I actually saw this on Delos. They had something like this. I don't know if they made it themselves. I think they did, but I just kind of took the idea and ran with it. So what this is, is a very interesting contraption that attaches to the drone like so. So it goes in like this, it goes on like this. It fits in so like all the Sensors and everything else are, still have complete visibility. Attaches with four of these little nuts. And the theory is that I can fly the drone and simply grab the stick when the drone is close to me, tilt it sideways, and then the drone will turn off. It's supposed to turn off when it tilts sideways. This guy's sitting nice and flat. 
I think it's probably ready. Feels good. I'll power up. Cast, was that a success or was that a success? I think that was a success. With the flight test successful, it's now possible to capture some great drone footage and safely return the drone back on board the boat. Here's a few sample clips. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs>